Ableton just shocked the world with yet another update to Live 12, bringing us to Live 12.3. I mean, at this point, the update to Live 12 is an absolute no-brainer if you can afford it. Now, there are a lot of amazing updates to 12.3, but today we're talking about arguably the biggest one, and that is stem separation, and it's a banger. Fun fact, Ableton's stem separation is built off the back of music AI's algorithm. If you don't know, they created the app Moises, which is a music platform that is being used by over 65 million artists. Anyways, there are three different ways that you can use stem separation inside of Ableton 12.3. The first way is right in your browser view by right clicking and then you can click separate stems to new audio tracks. The second way is if you have the track in your arrangement view here, you can right click and you can do it there as well. Lastly, it also works in session view same exact thing and it's all going to place the stems inside of your project in a group the same way now once you click separate stems to new audio track it's going to pop up with four options so you can pick if you just want the vocals drums bass others or all of them and then you can click separate when you're ready depending on the size of the file when you click separate it could take a couple minutes well i guess it depends on your computer as well and when it's done ableton will group the stems together and deactivate the original audio sample if you're doing this within the arrangement or session view now i've tested this out on about five to ten different songs and the results are very consistent but there is a way to get an even higher quality result now what you have to do is create an options.txt file and have this line right here in there and you're going to save it in a specific spot in your ableton preference folder the best way to do this if you're on mac is to open up your terminal here and you can go to your desktop type in nano options.txt and this is where you're going to paste that line command v to paste it control x to get out of here we're going to press yes because we want to save it and enter and there we go now we have our file if we go look at our desktop here it is now you're going to take this and you're going to copy it into the correct folder you're going to go to go hold down the option key until library pops up click on that and go into our preferences here and you're going to look for the ableton folder now you can go into this beta folder, which will be an actual folder once the beta releases officially. And this is where you're going to copy over the options file that we just made. After you do that, you're going to need to restart Ableton for the effects to take change. And the cool thing is after you do that, you actually get the option to choose between high speed or high quality. So even if you're not interested in doing the high quality, you might as well just do it so you have the option. Now using the high quality mode takes a significantly longer amount of time. So do keep that in mind and i actually ran a test so you guys can see now keep in mind i have a 2019 macbook pro with 64 gigabytes of ram an i9 processor and an 8 core and what we can see here is that each individual stem when we're in high quality mode takes twice as long as the entire thing yeah it takes like seven minutes to do just the vocals and just the drums and just the bass whereas the regular one you can get all four of them in like three three and a half minutes but this is based on a full-length song too so do keep that in mind what's really weird though is that when it got to the others which is like the melody it kind of just like skipped over that super fast and if you listen back and notice you can tell that it's not that high quality so maybe ableton is still working on that in the beta or it just has trouble doing the melodies but Let's listen to the difference because that's a hell of a long time, right? That's a big difference. So is the quality worth it in the end? Let's see. Put his brains right on the curb. I'm curb. with 150 steppers. I'm with swerve. Put his brains right on the curb. I'm curb. with 150 steppers. I'm with swerve. In the back of me, most likely me, you blood. Walk in the back of me, most likely me, you blood. Regardless, Ableton absolutely killed it with this stem separation. And if you guys want to see a list of all of the new updates and features in Ableton 12.3, we did a video going over everything right here. Check it out next. <laughs>